In this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how environment variables works in Windows environment. We run different, different programs and processes in Windows environment. However, some of the programs and processes require special kind of environment to run on Windows. To do this, Windows need to know what kind of environment these programs require and store that information in different, different path for EC Retriever. I'm going to use Python as an example to explain to you how it works. So I'm going to install Python here, Python. Then I'm going to go to this one and download the latest version. Here Python installer is presenting you some option. First one, it is asking you want to install in this default path or you want to select the custom path. And also, it is providing you an option, add Python 3.10 to path. So I'm going to skip this here, because if I click on this one, it is going to automatically add the path for the Python to work. So I'm going to show you how to add this manually and how the entire Windows environment variable works. So I'm going to select custom install, and I'm going to select all of them as default click next and I'm going to install for all users and I'm going to go to browse C and I am going to install that in the Python folder. So the installation is now complete. Let me close and let's see whether I can run the Python here. So to check whether the Python has been installed properly, I need to type P-Y-T-H-O and Python minus minus version. It is saying Python was not found because Windows doesn't know where to look for this Python executable file. However, if you go into the folder where you have installed Python and run this command, you should be able to run it. So let me go to CD, CD, Python, Python, minus, minus, version. Now I should be able to see the version. So if you want to define the path every time you want to run a Python script, that is very inconvenient. That is where the environment variable comes into play. To do that, you need to go to your PC, right-click here, go to Properties, go to Advanced Settings, and go to Environment Variables. So there are two different kind of environment variables here. One is for this user only, other one is for the, all the users, that is the system-wide environmental variable. You remember when I installed the program, the Python program, I said install it for all users. So what happened is if I set this environment variable here, it may not work. So let's try to go to this path and try to set the environment variable and then go to new and I go to C Python and say OK. So let me do it again for this user. Python version. And you see it is not working. So what I have to do is I have to define this for the system. So if you don't know where to set the environment variable, if you set it for the system, it will always work. So let me go to this path. And then I'm going to add this environment variable here. Type, click New, Control-V, Python. OK. Click OK. Let me close this and go back again. And type in Python version. Now it works. So let me go back to the environment variable again, and I will show you another important thing about this environment variable is advanced settings, 
environment variable path if you see here these are other programs that already have environment variable in it I did not set this environment variable so the program itself set the environment variable while we installing it you know even Python had that option but we never clicked on that that is why it did not set the environment variable and we had to do it manually also what happened is Windows check this environment variable in the order so if you think you run Python very frequent what you can do is you can move this up to the top so this will be checked first so your program will run much faster so let me run with this current settings close this and go back again so it still runs so you know how the environment variable order also works in the Windows environment. Hope this content is helpful for you. If you like this content, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the notification so you don't miss my future videos.